My Love, the solo, uh, played by Henry McCullough, who sadly, um, just in June of 2016, is a couple of months ago from where I'm making this video, uh, passed away. I'd read he'd been unhealthy for quite a few years, and uh, it finally kind of caught up to him, I guess. Anyways, uh, he's a great guitar player, you know, really tasty player, and uh, really good musician, and he played on the Red Rose Speedway album. Uh, 1973 with Paul McCartney and um, he actually played in some other bands he played with Joe Cocker and uh, he played a band called Spooky Tooth which um, you know a couple of guys came out of Spooky Tooth like uh, Gary Wright the Dreamweaver guy and Mick Jones who um, started Foreigner and another kind of interesting thing about uh, Henry McCullough is on the uh, Pink Floyd song, Money. He's the guy at the end of the song where they're talking, you know. And he says, I don't know, I was really drunk at the time. <laughs> that's apparently, that's Henry McCullough who says that because um, he had been on tours and whatnot with Pink Floyd. Not in the band, but in other bands. Anyways, um, this was a great solo. Very melodic solo and very musical. And it's one of those kind of solos that you can sing, you know. And that's always kind of my test to what makes a good solo is if you can sing it um, and the cool thing about this solo other apart from the the cool bends it's the theory of the solo and I want to go over that first because okay? um, you can learn a lot about how to construct a solo by learning this solo so let's go over the chords first the chords are well the songs in um, F And the first chord is B flat. Okay, A minor seven, and then D seven, and then G minor seven, A minor seven, B flat, and then um, it's this is a G seven over B bass. The way I'm playing it here right now is just the B note on the A string. The D note on B3 and F on uh, E1. Back to the F, and that's the progression the solo's over, okay? So I'm just gonna show you how cool the solo is. I'm gonna play it without any of the flavor, without any of the bending and stuff. Just holding the chord, okay? Just to show you how it's all based on the chords. Instead of, you know, the pentatonic box, right? Okay, so first chord B flat. Same thing here, right? And it's... Right? Okay, to the A minor, 7. And um, there's a lot of thirds. He lands on thirds on almost every chord. So that first chord is... That's the third of B flat. And then the third of A minor, seven, which is the C note. And then it does this cool little arpeggio, which is, I'll go over all this in detail um, later on when we actually, you know, do the solo, but. And then he lands on the third of the D note, right? Or the D chord. And then he goes, That's the third of the G minor seven. Root to third. And then same thing, landing on the third. And then he does this lick. Which, you know, he ends up in that first position pentatonic F major box, right? But the majority of the solo is just based over those chords and a lot of thirds. Okay, so now we'll play it like, you know, solo style. And it's going to start here on. And that's, you know, you're kind of in that B flat thing. B flat pentatonic shape, right? And we're just going to go. Going to hold this note here, this F note on um, B6. And if you really listen carefully to the track, he, t 
just kind of goes one, two, three, like that. And you know, you got to get that bend right. If you're a little flat, you know, or sharp, right? Um, okay, we got to get those bends right on the money. And then we do it again. All the while holding that note, right? And then we're right. Okay, and then he does this really nice little arpeggio, which is just you know we were on A minor seven, so we've got the, the fifth to the root to the minor third, and then sliding up to that third of the D7. That's To me, that lick there is, that's a real key lick, because it, it really shows a guy that knows what the guitar is all about, right? So, so far... Okay, so now we're going to go, we're just kind of up here on that G note on uh, B8, sliding down to the B flat note on uh, G3, which is, you know, that's the third of that G minor 7, and then A minor 7, the third again, okay, and then we do this, um, and this is basically a straight um, F major pentatonic lick. Sliding from uh, G5 to G7. B8, or uh, sorry, B6, B, B8. Sliding up to B10. And then up here to E uh, 13 and then we're, we're in that box right there, F major pentatonic box then just da -da 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 -da. right so the whole solo slowly That's it. A very short but very sweet and um, a really excellent example of using chord tones, right? So whenever you're, you know, going to come up with a solo, always think about the chords that you're playing over. And, um, you know, that will almost guarantee that you're going to get a solo that's going to work, right? Anyways, I hope you get something out of this lesson. Hope you enjoy playing this solo. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.